The most common conversation I'm having with real estate investors these days is how do I find properties to buy in a market as hot as this? I'll tell you exactly how the most successful investors are doing it in today's Tip Tuesday. I'm Jennifer Rollins, landlord, educator, advocate, and broker of One Focus Property Management. Today's Tip Tuesday is all about how you can source deals and properties more effectively using more than just the obvious sources. Hint, all the obvious sources are online, so we're going old school analog with today's Tip Tuesday. What I find is that there are investors that fall into essentially two different camps. There's some investors that like to peruse the open MLS listings, work with realtors, and really kind of stick to on-market deals. And then there's the other camp. And this other camp is where I think we can learn an awful lot. These people are very creative and unusual about how they go about finding their deals. One, they will always go to any for sale sign or walk up to somebody and ask if something's for sale. They will pursue unorthodox methods to find property. So they'll take rides and look for signs or ask strangers. So they're not afraid to do that part. And we have to remember as investors, as we source our assets that we want to buy, it can be a little dirty. We can kiss a couple of frogs before we find our prints. So we need to be willing to take that time and go through inventory. Now, People I know who are doing this really, really well, getting their pick of the litter of deals, no matter how hot the market is, they develop a network that funnels deals to them. How do they do this? Well, one, they get involved. They're out and about, they're at events. Of course they're at real estate investor groups and they're circulating with landlords and at landlord meetings and taking classes and seminars. They're out there doing that, but they're also out just in the community doing things on a regular basis. So they're meeting new people all the time. The second thing they do so great, when they meet those new people, they tell them what they're looking for. So when they make that introduction, they wanna know what the other person's looking for, but they always share, you know, I'm a real estate investor and I'm always looking for properties that I can buy. Um, maybe you know somebody, so if you ever know anybody, please give me a call, I'd love to talk to them. Now, that doesn't yield a lot of referrals at the first meeting, but that sticks with people. And you're gonna build this relationship with them and they're gonna remember that about you. And sometime they're gonna come upon someone who needs to sell a property and they're gonna go, you know what, I can make that connection. And so telling everybody, and I don't mean just people you think will care, tell the person at your auto repair shop, tell your hairstylist, tell your doctor, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell everyone you know. Make it a point that everyone you know knows what you're looking for and they're keeping an eye out for you too. The third thing these people do really well is that while they're willing to ask just about anything for what they want, they're also willing to help the people they ask this of. So when they meet people, they're genuinely interested in learning what they're about and what they need and trying to help as much as possible. So when they make those introductions, they're sharing what they want, but they're listening to what other people want. They're being a great friend. They're being a resource whenever they can, and they're building that reciprocity with people that keeps them generous and sending you deals and information. Information. Today's Tip Tuesday ends with this suggestion. Take these tips, commit to building a network that sends you referrals for deals that you're excited about, both on market and off, that you can explore and build your rental portfolio with. I hope you like these videos. Please tell me what you'd like to see more of in the comments. You can find us on social media and here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Bye.